Cows are adorable, man. You never seen a cow and just say, "Wow, you're like I want to kiss that." Cow. I I agree. I I I want to pet cows, but I've never been like, "Damn, I want to suck on their nipples," you know. What's up, Keto? How you doing, man? Yeah, I'm pretty good. How you doing, bro? I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. Well, let's let's start off by telling the people a little bit about yourself. Yeah, so my name is Keto the motherfucking Broski with three eyes, of course. You should know why. I'm from Brooklyn, <laughs> New Jersey. You know what I'm saying? I'm a multimedia artist. You know what I'm saying? I do like a lot of different shit, but music is my main shit for real, like my main passion. Dope, dope. That was perfect, man. That was an excellent introduction. Um, and yeah, I'll I'll get straight into it, Kita. I'll get I'll get you answering those questions so we can know even more more about your passion. Um, <clears throat> so, so the first thing, you know, being being your passion, what is what is your favorite thing about actually making music? Like, what part of the process or what, yeah, what part of that really sticks out to being uh, your favorite? Yeah, honestly, bro, it's just everything. Like. Mm -hmm. I can't just pick one thing. It's the process of making it. It's like what it does for people. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like the impact that it has. Just uh, being able to like vent and then like uh, say like music growth. You know what I'm saying? Like when you can really like grow from something like this and it just helps you as a person. Like somebody like, you know, Mac Miller, who is like you listen to like his first project and then like his last project. Mm -hmm. And it's like, bro, them shits are like night and day. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't yeah. know, just everything. Yeah, dope, dope. So yeah, you you love everything from the fact that it like impact like the impact that it has on people and just you know the actual process of making it as well. For sure. Yeah, yeah. Dope, dope. All right, easy, man. I'll, I'll move on to the next question because I think you answered that perfectly. I would I would probably say my answer is fairly similar. I honestly, every <laughs> every part about it I enjoy. Probably actually my least favorite thing is probably the promotion. I, I don't really like doing the promo work and shit. I much rather make my shit <laughs> <laughs> the promo gets fun no cap yeah 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 all right we'll, we'll move on to the next question now bro so um does does the top 100 charts like you know the top 100 billboard or whatever whatever hip-hop charts or whatever you're looking at do those sort of charts ever influence the sort of music you make like do you do you pay attention to trends or you just do your own thing nah dog never like never. i i don't know anybody accolades like i even my favorite artist bro i don't know how many grammys or vmas or best this or best or how many they sold like first i don't know but i don't know none of that shit like yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just give a fuck about how how the music makes you feel the accolades and shit don't don't matter yeah bro like if the music ain't hitting i don't know that shit don't matter to me bro <laughs> yeah 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 for real for a so you don't so like I, I'm sort of the same, bro. Like right now, I wouldn't be able to tell you what songs are in the top 100 at all. Like I have no fucking clue. <laughs> Absolutely no fucking clue. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Have you have you ever made a song though that like you you wrote it and maybe you know you you finished writing it and everything yet yeah, you finished recording, and then you're like, oh shit, like this sounds like a top 100 hit, or nah. Nah, I don't even know what that sounds like. <laughs> That's a good point. That's a good point. That's a good point. Like, I imagine. Me, you know, yeah, go ahead. No, nah, it's just like seeing the, uh, certain songs that like get like a lot of success and like a lot of notoriety. Mm -hmm. I have like never heard, bro. It's so crazy. The songs that could get like three million plays or three million hits or something, and you like never heard that shit before in your life, bro. It's like how is these shits like where is? Where is it streaming from? Like, yeah, yeah, that's true. That's fine. There's so many different waves. I don't know what's going on these days. Yeah, that's true. You definitely can't rely on those numbers in the top <laughs> line anymore. It's all fucking cap. <laughs> <laughs> it's all cap. It's all cap. All right. Um, I'll move on to the next question. This this next question is a bit more personal. So out of you know all your songs, you've been you've been making music for a minute now, and you've you've got a decent amount of releases under your belt. Um, and you know we're even working on some tracks together as well. But out of out of every every song that you've released uh, so far, what what do you think is your has been your favorite release and why? Damn, 
That's a good one, dog. I was every that. every artist got that one favorite. <laughs> I mean, I, I do, but I don't because it's it's like a couple of my shits have been different. Mm-hmm. Where it's like the Planet Zion shit, it's like I've never auto tuned ever before. Like I've never wanted to do auto tune. I never even thought about putting out a song that would be auto tune. I literally like tried. Uh, I don't know if you know Crab Lord on YouTube. I think I have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Be like showing a lot of presets. So I just like hopped in. Like, let me try to just let me just try these presets. Whatever. Trying to like learn engineer. And I fucked around and made that song. A couple people heard it. Oh my gosh, yo, that I just heard it, dog. You gotta drop that song. It's going crazy. Just that and the third. I'm like, what? That one? Yeah. Went, that yeah. One? Like, <laughs> no way, niggas. That went that one. So it was just like, holy shit, it was like surprise to me either. Yeah. And then it's like the Black Harry Potter, like what that song did. Not even thinking about like, you think when you drop a song, it goes crazy, da da da. Mm-hmm. It's like when it comes back later when you're not even thinking about it. It's my like, yeah, I heard that one months and months ago, whenever it was. Yeah. We got to work because that was fire. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, man, it's dope. You notice how, you know, you're like, you've got all these seeds planted and sometimes like, you know, the, the success from a song comes way after the song's even released. Yeah. That's, that's definitely that's dope. Shocking. Yeah. That, that Black Harry Potter track, that's a new one. Yeah. That's fairly recent. Yeah, it's like, I mean, I made that probably like around this time last year. Yeah, yeah. But right. yeah, I dropped it like in, I don't know, like three months ago, four months ago, yeah. some shit like that. Yeah, dope, dope, dope. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure I've heard it. That's sick, man. That's sick. I think, I think, man, I can, I think a lot of, a lot of artists can relate. There's definitely been songs that I've like released and I've just, like, I've been iffy on the release, you know? I'm like, ah, oh, do I even release this? Do I not? And then when I drop it, everyone's like, oh, shit. And, you know, even even people that don't normally hit me up, hit me up being like, oh, shit, that song's dope. And I'm and I'm just, it's the same as you. I'm just standing there like, what the fuck? Like, for real? This is this is average, bro. Like, this is just me fucking around. <laughs> like, well, for real, though, like, some shit that shit, like, it, it didn't even take long to make. Yeah. Have it matter before you know you was done, it's like no i don't know it's interesting like the no thought i think it's crazy like, it's crazy how we doubt ourselves like, i think you know this should this should be a lesson to people that are listening to this like if you have a track that you're like 50 50 on or just unsure and just fucking release it just release it like it's probably it's probably better than you think just drop that shit <laughs> and definitely finish every track like no matter what you think the track is like not going to do if you get midway you can't do the second verse so you'll finish every track is like even if you don't finish the track, it's like, it'll be a verse later or like a flow later that you'll want to use. And exactly. if you, but it's like, if you don't finish that thought or finish that creation, you'll never know. Like, it's yeah. interesting. Facts, facts. All right, I agree. All right, let's, we're, we're, we're getting close to wrapping up the interview now. Um, and as, as you know, I always end these with, with a weird question, so. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, the main reason I do these interviews is for this last question. I don't give a fuck about your music or any of that. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Um, but this this one this one's a little little this this question's a little bit longer, so bear with me. But I'm I'm very very intrigued at to, as as to what your answer is going to be. So. Keto, can you please tell the public? And man, one day when you're like up there in the big leagues, I'm gonna make sure this video like surfaces and goes viral so everyone knows what the fuck you answered to this question, all right? So just be careful, no pressure or nothing. Uh, Cause you got a lot of material to blackmail me right now. I need something to, to return the favor. I need some leverage here. So Keto, would you rather drink milk straight from a cow's tit like you got to put your mouth on that nipple and just like suck right or eat an entire jar of mayonnaise whilst you're being shot by paintballs wow dog (laughs) wow dog Yeah, that's one of those ones that's like you're gonna think about before you go to bed and like have a crazy ass dream. Like, <laughs> <laughs> man, I hope I hope you dream about this tonight. 
Nah, it gotta be the cow, dog. We gotta just go. We gotta go back in the day. Fuck you, it, you, like you, you, you suck the cow titty. The cow, bro. Me and the cow gotta like get romantically involved. <laughs> Fuck it. You just got all in for the cow. Get shot too, and then yeah, like, and you had pain with the second one. Nah. <laughs> Torture as well. Oh, Fuck that. Shit. All right, that, that's a good point. That's a fair point. So the second one's pain. Is the first one more pleasurable for you then? <laughs> yeah, bro. Cows are adorable, man. You never seen a cow and just say, "Wow, you're like, I want to kiss that." Cow. I I agree. I I, I want to pet cows, but I've never been like, "Damn, I want to suck on their nipples," you know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> <never> <laughs> You know, like I'm no judgment, no judgment. What you do in your fa- uh, free time, keto is is okay. I won't yeah. judge. I won't judge. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> now that's a good answer, though. That's a good answer. Personally, I would just go with the jar of mayonnaise because I don't. I, I, I like mayonnaise, so that part wouldn't even be that bad. And I've been shot by paintballs a fair amount of times, and. Like it's painful, but it's bearable. I still feel like it's better than having a massive cow nipple in my mouth. But hey, <laughs> oh, bro, this this video when you when you get famous, I'm gonna make sure it goes viral. I'm gonna be like, hey yo, <laughs> keto trying to suck on some cow nips, everybody. <laughs> Where the fuck is Peter at? <laughs> yeah, all right, all right, well. We'll, we'll wrap this up now. So at, at the very end of this, I do I do the ABC challenge. And this is going to be great because as you said, before I started recording, you're faded as fuck right now. So it's going to be very interesting to see how fast you can say the alphabet. <laughs> right, that wraps it up. That wraps it up for the interview. Is there any like releases or anything coming up that you want to tell the people about? Uh, I got some shit dropping later this morning. Oblation with the homie Mark. Dope. Uh, oh. My homie Marco. Um, Tupac dropping next month on Tupac's birthday. Hey, let's they go. I know let's Tupac's go. birthday. Know some like what day the song dropping? A few hip hop head. Dope. dope. Uh, well, by the by the time this video will be out, that single you mentioned first, that song will probably already be out. So make sure you look below in the comments and in the description and I'll leave a link to that, to that new release so everyone can check it out. Definitely. <laughs> so, so. All right, man. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks for being here with us. And I'll, um, yeah, I'll, I'll talk to you again sometime soon. Peace out, man. Have a good one. It's a trip. It's a trip. I'm a blip on the map. It's so big where we live. Got a chip. Bust a pig. Then I dip like a fish. Make a wish. Light is dim. Can't come in where we sin. Where we smoke till trees are thin.